<coughs> Peace and love, family. Peace and love. Tap in, tap in. Let's get it. Let's get it. <coughs> tap in, tap in. Peace and love. Peace and love. <coughs> Make sure y'all tag some people. Make sure y'all tag some people. Got a testimony story. Got a testimony story. All right, got a testimony story. Make sure y'all tap in. Make sure you share. Make sure you share. Do what you got to do. Bring in who you got to bring in. Bring in the naysayers. Bring in the non-believers. All right? Because, you know, that's what we deal with all the time. What's going on, family? I am definitely not a Gemini. I am definitely a Libra. Okay? All right, and you know the scale. You know the scale is the symbol for the Libra. So you know we bring the balance. So it's only right that all Libras tap in with law, cause we gotta bring the balance. All right, we gotta bring the balance. How do we set up a Treasury Direct account? In fact, just go to TreasuryDirect.com and set up an account, fam. All right, but yeah, we go ahead. Uh, this is questions and answers, y'all. Questions and answers. All right, um, answer any question about the process. Uh, please don't ask, how do I endorse my bill? All right, um, ask something that's anything that you're uh, curious about. All right, um, on your process, um, where are you on your process? Um, is there anybody in here that's already got remedy? All right, so I got a brother uh, that has a $1.6 million crib. And he was able to endorse his uh, um, uh, mortgage, so he got a uh, he got a bill in the mail that said he owed fourteen hundred dollars, something like that. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm gonna let him tell y'all the story. Um, she don't wait for him to come in. Um, but yeah, y'all, it's it's lit, y'all. It's lit. It's been lit. All right, it's been lit. We just really just. I mean, you know, again, we're just doing victory laps at this point. Like, we've been one, all right? When that very first, all right, person joined, all right, when, uh, I mean, a person that just joined the uh, um, community, I mean, the ACA, all right, um, yeah, we've been winning, all right? We've been from the first, very first person that got remedy, all right? And that was, like I say, two years ago, so... For those that are in groups, that y'all ain't got no remedy yet, man, come on. Like, come on down. Come on. Come on down. All right. So, uh, yeah, I think the brother's in. I think his brother in. So, we're going to uh, let him tell his story before we get to the Q&As. All right. Because I know y'all going to have a lot of questions after. You'll be like, what did you do? What? What? What did you do? And family, remember, this is a one size fits all. Okay. Meaning the same thing he did with his uh, mortgage. You're going to do with your mortgage. It doesn't matter what the corporation is. It doesn't matter what the corporation name is. Like, it's the same thing. All right, so let me go ahead and get this brother in right quick. Let me go ahead and get him, man. Give me one moment. Why people just be requesting a joined video? What's going on, fam? <laughs> Folks just be requesting. I just seen his profile. Uh, damn, I just seen his profile. Where he at? Where he at? <laughs> you made a comment about if you're paying taxes on your house, then you don't own it. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, simple. Um, if you're paying on something, that means you're the borrower. You see what I'm saying? Like you got to remember when I say shit, I'm saying it from the a creditor standpoint. You know what I'm saying? Because a creditor isn't paying taxes. You see what I'm saying? A creditor is receiving a tax bill, which is revenue. So you kind of kind of understand what I was saying on that. I mean, if you're still paying on something, I mean, you're not the owner. I mean, you're looking at it from a debt to a sp uh, situation. Uh, 
Uh, damn, where the brother at? Where the brother at? Let's see if I can get him in. Route. I just seen it. Route. Oh, there go. Route 25. Let me add. Go live. All right, major shit. Try to tell y'all, man, it don't matter what the amount is. Doesn't matter what the amount is. Okay? Peace of love, family. Peace of love. What's good? <laughs> What's going on, man? First and foremost, I appreciate Nigga. you coming to LA event. Oh, you got yeah. Out. I had to, man. I had to get that sauce, boy. Man, that shit was lit. That shit was lit. I'm my, my bad about the heat wave, but shit, I, I had to get that information for y'all, man. But yeah, tell the folks, man. Tell the folks um, how long you been on this journey, what different processes you done used. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, tell them. Uh, uh, this process, uh, this journey, man, it's been about two, almost two years. Not with your process, but just doing, being in all those different groups, like how you you know, you be explaining you in this group, that group, you know, you know, you hear some people getting remedy over here. You, you, you wonder like, damn, well, why I can't get no remedy? Because don't nobody really know the remedy. Yeah. They yeah. just selling, everybody just selling motherfucking process. Excuse my language. That's what everybody doing. But, uh, I got, I started, uh, listening to you maybe about, uh, since uh when this was maybe january february march maybe in march okay so uh i listen to you for about a month every day and then maybe uh may i said shit, i'm gonna just go ahead and i got your class or whatever when i got your class that first class that you did man that class you we started at 10 man and that class i mean 12 o'clock man that shit ain't in to 10 o'clock at night, man. <laughs> it was on there for about 10 hours. Eh? <laughs> oh, man, but listen, 10 hours, that wasn't even long enough, man. It seemed like it was two hours. <laughs> the information you was dropping. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I wanted more and more. And, and when I started listening to you, man, it just started making sense because I was fixing credit uh. oh, man, first or whatever and, and, and seeing how the credit thing worked. When you when you send in those letters and they come back verified, yeah. verified. Yeah. I'm like, well, damn, I'm reading the, I'm reading the laws or whatever, and they say, you know, um, these Experian can't do this, Experian can't do that or whatever. But ain't none of that shit was coming up, you know. Like, uh, my credit was gonna get fixed. So when I start listening to you, when you were saying, hey, all you gotta do is read Federal Reserve 16, section one and two. And I'm reading it, reading, reading it, and I ain't really understanding. So once I got to understand it, I'm saying, damn, the collateral security is in my back pocket. Yep. The back pocket. <laughs> so I, right there. I, I, hey, listen, my wife, nobody believed me. I'm talking about it, it, it felt like I was on the island by myself. And I'm like, damn, man, we just got this beautiful house. Man, I'm finna got them try to discharge this how the fourth person it was discharging. But I'm saying, damn, now I could get the money for it too. They owe me. And then I started reading my contract and it said borrow. So I had to put in, okay, banks, they the borrowers 12, 12 USC 1431. So I mean banks, that's all they could do. And you just kept saying, the banks are the borrowers. They have no money. <laughs> They got no money. So when I read the contract, everywhere it said borrow, you just put banks. And it's like, duh. And then you read Federal Reserve 16, the application, and the application says um, the collateral security um, is uh, notes, bills of exchange, and, and endorsed bills of exchange. And I'm like, oh, it's time to go. Time to go, man. I, I'm seeing I'm, like you like seeing the light. It's like cracking through the dark. Like, oh Ooh. man. So 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 my house was 1.25. Okay. I heard you say 1.6. Okay. I ain't want to elevate it. It's one. It's fine. He said 1.2 million. <laughs> yeah. So so I was endorsing the bills. I was sending them in one letter, two letter, and I was kind of slow because you said 15 days. It should be a wrap, and then you go down there and do your 
do you uh come on it's the little goddess right here oh no god <laughs> yeah yeah so you were saying one letter two letter three letter sue so i'm like damn okay i still wasn't you know still going through the process trying to learn more so i wasn't doing it in 15 days i write the letter you know what i'm saying waiting to see if something come back and then i was on the live with you and you said man it don't matter what they send back so i kept reading um federal reserve 16 and every day i'm saying man you know what man it don't matter don't man it don't it don't matter what they say because everything is federal they got right so I said, you know what, man, I got the car lot right around the corner, the Porsche dealer right around the corner. I'm going to go run this play over here. Man, I went in that thing, man, with my, my, my ID, just my ID, no other information. That ran that play came out with $171,000 a, 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 a Porsche. Hey, straight out the class, ain't it? You told straight me. Straight out the class. Straight up. My wife was looking crazy as hell, like. Damn man, you putting a, you putting a, the the uh, the um, truck inside the garage or whatever. You usually leave it out, but we got palm trees. Yeah, one of the palm trees fell on one of my trucks. So I'm like, no, I ain't hiding. I ain't hiding. I'm putting it in so one of them trees don't fall in or whatever. But I'm endorsing that one too. Went went in there. I told they gave it to me the same day. And I done seen the and I done seen the Porsche, y'all. So just to let y'all know he and I done seen the this, Porsche, guys. This, the same day, I'm talking about, I ain't had nothing but my ID in my pocket. That's it. Once I told them, hey, they asked me, yes, oh. they asked me um, what kind of job I had. I said, I don't work. They say, well, what's your income? I said, I don't get no income. I get revenue. Revenue. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> Hey, my credit score is like in the 600. I'm like, ain't no way. Oh, I, I, was in there, I was in there. To, I, I went there to get the denial letter so I could have something to work on. And came yeah, y'all, he came right. He came to the L.A. class, y'all. I was telling folks, just go get denied. So, again, if you walk in there already prepared to get denied, you might fuck around and drive out that motherfucker with a car, just like just like the brother so, did. All right, boy, so, truck. So, so. I was endorsing the bill or whatever for my mortgage. So the bill was like, uh, my, the, the mortgage note on, on, on the house was 70, 74, 74 a month. So I know through going through other classes or whatever, in, in equity or whatever, you have to accept everything that they send or whatever, unless you're going to be in dishonor or whatever. So I was accepting everything, sending it back, you know, and. They sent me something one time or whatever. It said mitigation or whatever. I didn't know they was recontracting with me. So when I looked at the contract, when I looked at my um the mortgage statement, the mortgage statement said principal principal balance thirteen hundred. I like wait wait a minute. What I'm looking at this here wrong? And it said explanation of amount principal balance thirteen. 0795 and then it say amount due 7200 so i go back and read the paperwork and they saying okay well only thing you have to do you got three more payments if you pay nine thousand or, or whatever and i'm like shit when they send me that bill that's my money shit i'm gonna endorse that money and shit, <laughs> come on with it <laughs> hey how much did you owe before the uh you did your endorsement uh how much was remained uh, on a million <laughs> A meal. Let y'all know. A meal, man. I'm talking about you don't understand, man. I understood when you said ain't nobody gonna believe you, man. I, I I played football, so I had a little group of buddies, you know what I'm saying? I used to man, I'm oh, talking about Oh yeah, you, you played know. Bengals. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. tell me that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was in camp with the Bengals. That was a long time ago though, man. Long time, man. <laughs> but ain't none of them dudes believe me, dog. And I'm talking about they they had little jokes, all kind of shit, or, or whatever. Oh man, you going to jail? This and that, or, or whatever. I'm like, all right. <laughs> like, all right. Ain't nobody going no. Ain't nobody going no jail. 
because you it, can't because everything is in your account. That's what I'm saying. You seen everything you read, and so it's like it ain't like we making this shit up in a bathroom. Like literally, the documentation that they send us, we just understand what it's saying now. Yeah. It's like you saying every time you borrow, you just took that down and put bank. The bank shall pay this, this, this. <laughs> And, and then I had a couple. I had a couple of calls with some bank executives or whatever. So they, they, they called me and say, "Well, sir, what do you want to do with the account?" I said, "Well, you got the paperwork in front of you. Transfer that principal balance to that principal account." So the dude was like, "So you mean to tell me that we owe you?" And I was like, "Yeah, if you you go to twelve um USC um fourteen thirty one, yeah, y'all ain't got no money to lend. So yeah, you owe me, man." I I don't have to talk with a bank, just ask them, because when you just sit down and just ask some questions, like, okay, where did y'all get the money from? Then like, oh, we got it from, uh, um, what is a good question? We get it from our investors. Our, yes, I'm an investor. That's right. This is fourth, they go ahead and claim my share. That's I, right. What it is, family, it's revenue. We don't get income. It's revenue. Man, food, I'm a believer. That's how you get food. Second. If they ask, them, what's your revenue? How much income? I get to know it. Hey, listen, I told my wife about this a long time ago. She ain't even got them looking. I said, baby, you're supposed to be getting $1,200 a month for food stamps. Food stamps ain't for just for poor people. Everybody get that shit. She was like, yeah, right. <laughs> so, so, so Monday, I'm down there to the food stamp office. Oh, when they get them food oh, stamps, yeah. that meal plan that, that everybody supposed to get. I know. I seen a, girl, a, a woman. At 5.6 million on a food stamp card. Man, you lying. Man, I promise. Man. Not, not, not my student, ain't no affiliations at all. See, I'm like, man, what the fuck? And she the one that opened my eyes up to, like, oh, snap, there's some shit with that food stamps, too, because that's an account. Right. And see what I'm saying? Imagine if you, don't, you ain't never got food stamp, meaning that, that account is just waiting to be used. <laughs> Hey, because think about it. When they give folks food stamps, you got to think, because some people get more food stamps than others. Right. You got to think, why is that? Because if I come forth and I say I need this amount, I'm like, no, uh, that's only for these people. That's discrimination because we that's got right. full credit opportunity. Like, you got to give me the same opportunity as you give somebody with 50 kids. Because at the end of the day, this is my estate. This is my account. You know what I'm saying? Man, we, don't, we don't understand that. They don't even understand. We ain't supposed to pay to eat. To live, the travel, all right, none of that. But we do because we don't. We still trying to understand the, the uh, 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 United States and how, how the system is running. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see how I could turn this camera around where I could let y'all see this balance. Damn, how I turn this camera around? It's probably got like the arrows. Hold on, no, I can't do it. I don't, I don't see. Oh, here it go. Yeah. Man. You know, they're going to be like, man, show me the proof. Show me the paper. Okay. You see what that say? Mm -hmm. That say amount over here. 72. And that shit is positive. That's how much is left is in that account. Uh, That's right. See the principal right there? Yep. If they think I'm lying, what that say? 13? <laughs> over here. What did it say? 98. Almost a meal, goddamn, to 20 bands off. That's what I'm saying, y'all. The amount doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's all accounting. And even so, if that motherfucker said a million, a uh, uh, hundred million, you feel what I'm saying? It's the same shit. Unheard of, but the same shit. Hey, man. Hey, hey, listen. I've been doing right. I've been doing stuff in good faith, man. That's what I've been doing. I've been staying patient. You know what I'm saying? Taking them blows that people been giving me or whatever. Taking them and just studying, 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 studying. I'm talking about all my friends think I'm crazy. Oh, you going to jail. They going to lock you up. <laughs> oh, you just don't want to work. Go, you defraud the government. Man, fuck the government. <laughs> Say, I am the motherfucking government. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, mother. They been stealing from my motherfucking ass for 51 years. Well, they really ain't been stealing. We been giving it to them, man. No, they just holding it. They just holding it for they us. Just, they just holding it, big dog, man. Like, but I, I want to, I want, I, I appreciate you, man. 
young brother, man, that's real knowledgeable, man. I I, I don't know where I'd be right now, man, if I ain't had this, man. man. Imagine what you about to imagine where you about to go though. You uh -huh. feel what I'm saying? It's, and I ain't even filed the federal claim yet. I be trying to tell people like a lot of the time when you moving in good faith and you because I seen your paperwork, you already ready to file. You see what I'm saying? But when you already ready to file, it's like the universe, like, all right, cool. He he good. You know what I'm saying? He good. It's like they move the fuck out the way. They be like, show me a court case. I'm like, I let you know when I go all the way. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, hey cause listen. Yesterday or whatever, you know my business partner uh, Magic or whatever. He mm -hmm. filed his he filed his federal claim for his car or whatever. What the court? When that lady seen when that lady seen his paperwork, she said, "Sir, are you a lawyer?" <laughs> they didn't call them two times or, or, or whatever. So you say once they accepted, it's a done deal. It's a done deal, deal bro. Cause like I say, if it, you got to think about it. And you said she was like, are you attorney? Because of how, how, how crisp his damn documentation yeah. was. All right, look, after they said that, meaning after, because she already knows it's about to go through, meaning she didn't give him no point, like, hey, sir, you got to do this. It was, damn, you attorney or something? Like, I, I ain't never seen nothing this crisp. So when she submits it, man, it's already going to get accepted. And once it gets accepted, man, he's going to get a phone call. Brrr, hey, oh, we're going to have to settle this outside the court because we don't need to go any further. You know, save some Because it's security fraud. Straight up, it's security fraud, man. It's security fraud. I'm, I'm talking about identity theft or whatever. They don't want them problems. Man, hell no. Nah. And, and, and now all you're doing is rinsing and repeating. That's it. Same shit, it's, uh, same ball, goddamn, same, same side. Like we going, we running to the right every time till they stop this shit. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, yeah, man. Appreciate you, boy. Man, appreciate y'all for coming to LA. You know what I'm saying? We definitely man, don't listen. I'm coming to Charlotte till you listen to goddamn pop. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's that's lit. That's yeah. Lit. I, I, I want to come to I want to come to Chicago. Uh September twenty third. Yeah, see my birthday on September 9th or whatever. So man, I thought I might need you that just to get a little testimony. To be <laughs> real. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, you just hey, 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 uh, listen, want to follow it, people with remedy. You feel it, what I'm it, saying? It could happen now. It could happen. Hey, we can definitely do yeah. that. Uh, yeah, we can yeah. do that. We can okay. do that. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm like with you man but yeah y'all again y'all the brother right here he put the work in as you can see million dollar crib uh he got the porsche y'all you feel what i'm saying gonna let me know let us know about that but as y'all can see y'all this shit is working you know what i'm saying brother looking just like me you feel me like me you gotta be however y'all think you gotta be to, to get this type of remedy you don't meaning you can be white brown purple you feel me tatted it up you know what I'm saying? Football player, basketball player, rapper. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. This is for you because we're all supposed to be doing this shit. So appreciate you, bro. Oh, um, okay. Okay. Love. Much love. Yeah, that's lit, that's lit right there, y'all. We need we need stories like that. So y'all can kind of see, man, what's going on. All right. we Folks have been winning. All right. Folks have been winning. All right. It's all about what you believe is what you need to put your time into. And I, I always tell folks, if you're not endorsing your bills or even diving into endorsing your bills deeply, all right, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. All right, I really don't, okay? Because you're not supposed to be paying no rent. As you can see, the brother was able to bring down a million dollar balance, all right, all the way down to, what was it, uh, 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 1700 some shit like that. All right, meaning he all he gonna do is do the same thing with that one. All right, because at the end of the day, well, we seen all positive numbers. Meaning all those numbers was due to him. Meaning his all caps name that was revenue. All right, y'all gotta remember we don't get income, and no offense for folks getting income, but that income is for the it's for the peasants. All right, let, let, let's just be real with shit. Okay, income is for the peasants. All right, now imagine telling yourself I need multiple streams of income. Mean I need multiple. That's like that's like saying I need multiple uh, slave positions because what do you need those multiple streams of income for? For what? I hear people saying, "Well, I just need it for a rainy day." What fucking rainy day? What are you talking about? All right, folks, just be saying some shit. All right.
Fool just be saying some shit. All right, but y'all got to remember, we get revenue. We don't get income. All right, again, this goes with anything. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start asking. I'm going to start answering some questions. All right. Um, make sure y'all share. Make sure y'all share. All right, yeah, income definitely is for peasants, okay? Revenue is for the bosses, all right? Bosses on. Bosses don't get no goddamn income. All right. Uh, what's up, fam? Let's just go ahead and ask these questions. Ask these questions. Is your class 8,000? Hell no. Uh, my class is 500 for the advanced, 250 for the beginner. Click on the first post on my page. Go to my page. Click on the first post and swipe to the right. And it's going to tell you how to get that uh, advanced class or that beginner class. But no, it's not 8,000 or 2,000. All right. Uh, I understand we don't need income, but can we still perform and still receive remedy while being employed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't let, hey, don't let me put that battery on your back and you just up and quit your job. All right. Now I'm 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 the guy that's on your hip. It's like, all right, motherfucker, don't get comfortable now. You gotta you gotta create your escape plan. Don't be at this motherfucking job next year. You see what I'm saying? But meaning, don't just up, uh, abruptly just do it. Meaning, you can still endorse your bills while working. You working don't got nothing to do with the bills coming in, because you're working to pay the bill. You see what I'm saying? So you you can still endorse the bill, but then you'll start saying like, "What the fuck am I working for? I just endorsed my phone bill, just endorsed my rent, just endorsed my car. What the fuck am I working for?" You know what I'm saying? All right. And a lot of people say when I be like, "You know what I'm saying?" And they be like, "Any man talk like that, he he, he done been in prison." You know what I mean? And people think I learned this information in prison. I did not, family. Okay, I I did not. I'm in arbitration with American Express and other car. Okay, you talking to somebody. Do you derive your methods from understanding exclusive equity? Uh, no, I didn't start with exclusive equity. I started with acts. Um, I started with um bill of exchange, Chester K. Vi Act. Uh, really the same acts I've been talking about for the last, I want to say, year and a half. Uh, nothing's really changed over here. Um, we kind of, we might direct it uh, more specifically to, like, say, a car or apartments or lease or um, mortgages. Um, but nah, I started off with the basics of uh, just overstanding with a consumer's rights, uh, and, one, and and then that took me from understanding the bank, the bank's rights. All right, and that when I understood the banks don't really have that many rights, and that we have, uh, uh, we super precede the banks. All right, then I kind of understood. Okay, damn, I can kind of see how this is ran. All right, I used to trap, so for those that trap, you understand, like, if you have a runner or something, and you front the runner some work or something like that, you expect that runner to bring those dividends, all right? But so I was looking at the banks as, okay, the banks are the borrowers, so they're borrowing work from us. We give them, what is the work we give them? We don't just walk to the bank and just give them cash. No, all right, we have to open up an account first, meaning an application. So that person asked about that TDA account. What you need to do is just go to treasurydirect.com and start reading the instructions get familiar with the website go to the resources all right like a lot of people is waiting for classes and stuff people to break down how to open up a tda account it's like open up a bank of america account it's not it's not hard at all we just gotta understand how to use google google because a lot of this shit is googleable all right and we gotta get and we gotta start thinking that you gotta use stamps to endorse no should bills be endorsed and read doesn't matter do I send coupons to bank? No. Can you speak on DPOA? What's that? OCC process, what about it? When you come into Charlotte, uh, October. Equity is in all courts. Uh, no, equity is in all courts. Uh, but when you speak of equity, it it's, takes that to a private chambers. That makes sense. What do you in the advanced course? I show you how to execute in the advanced course, but the beginner course shows the overstanding breaks down all the X. Hello, I'm filing my federal claim. Please, is there anything spe spe specifically I should include? Uh, well, if you're about to file your federal claim, you should already know what they include, family. You should already be stopped because anything you add now, you're not going to understand it. You see what I'm saying? Don't be adding stuff like last minute. You don't understand it. You got to stand on what you already done built. Are you using digital trustee for endorsement? No, but you can. If the IRS approves your 1099A or C, does that mean you found the correct indigenous service? No, it doesn't. It just means that they received your, your document. That's all that means. Um, uh, it doesn't mean they process your 1099. I'm in bankruptcy and I'm trying to save my house. Can I do this while I'm in bankruptcy? Hell, motherfucking yeah. You better hop on it quick. All right, quick, fast, and hurry. 
Mark, can you get interest back from endorsing a court case? Yes. Man, don't answer any questions to the people who haven't reviewed your page. Facts. I just got a lease agreement sent to me. This says I can only use U.S. dollars to pay the rent. I'm assuming that includes negotiable instrument. Bam, there you go, Mr. Godley. Facts, there you go. A U.S. dollar is also a bill of exchange. That's how we get creative. There you go. Can let them say, no, it's not. And you take the ass to court and you let them tell the judge that this is not a negotiable instrument or a bill of exchange. It's not a U.S. dollar. Do we send tops portion of stamps? I've never mentioned the stamps. How to do it? Explain revenue to the EBT office to get approved. I wouldn't say that, family. I wouldn't go to the... No, family. I wouldn't go to the EBT and say, hey, I don't get income. I make a lot of revenue. No. Uh, no. No. I'm going to go to EBT and say I don't get any income. And leave it at that. So I'm not giving them any extra information. All right. As far as food stamps, can we call our back checks compensation? Our, our call our paychecks. I'm not bringing my paychecks, family. No, why would you bring it? No, 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 family. No, the less, the best. Ooh, that's a bar right there. The less, the best. Okay. <laughs> All right. What am I teaching this August 19th? Uh, how to endorse your rent. Uh, we're going over some... Uh, rent codes around the country um definitely more so the rent it's gonna be on august 19th on your default notice letter do you let them know what laws they violate oh i put that in the beginning you can put that on anyone you know what i'm saying it's, it's, that's not really more specific but you got to get you got to get the notice and let them know that uh you can't just hit them on a uh, federal on a federal claim then bring up all what they done did now you kind of got to let them know what they done did um or the court may uh uh, not not accept your case. Tell them, hey, reach out to them first before you come to us. And you'll be like, I did. But you got to be like specific on what is the claim, what is what what is the violation, what is the crime that they're committing. You said we cannot collect interest from the job while employed. Uh, I, I apologize. I shouldn't have said that. To be honest, I don't know. I'm sure you can. It's an account. Me, just me. Personally, I'm not, I'm not about to waste my time trying to go to my jobs. You know what I'm saying? Because in my mind, I should never have been working. That's how I look at it. So I don't really put much thought into that. What do you recommend starting to read laws in chronological order? Ain't no chronological order. Family, just Bill of Exchange Act, uh, Federal Reserve, Section 16, Part 1 and Part 2. Uh, I'm going to read the Constitution for sure, for sure. Uh, um, I, I would go read, uh, you got the Truth and Lending Act, you got the um, Equal Credit Opportunity Act, which is major, man, that motherfucker, major, Equal Credit Opportunity Act, not the Equal Employment Opportunity Act, fuck that, <laughs> okay, we're talking about the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, meaning you can't get denied, family, you can't get denied due to income, because you're not even supposed to be making fucking income. So imagine getting judged by your income when income was it's never even supposed to be fucking happy. You see what I'm saying? So you kind of got to look at it like that. Like, that's why you're not supposed to get declined. That's why you're not supposed to get declined because your credit score is not high enough. How many of y'all have been declined for a house because your credit score wasn't high enough? And what law did they use to determine that factor? All right, I can tell you what law hasn't been used against them. All right, and that is a fucking federal breach of contract. Okay, and that has got to come from the consumer because if the consumer doesn't press the issue on these banks, they're going to keep on declining people. All right. Of course, the lights were cut off, but I paid to get them back on. Can I still do the procedure before my neighbor's lights were off? Not mine, but I had the bill, not her. What's next? Yeah, you can uh, just keep paying uh, and you can perform. But you kind of want to pay the bill and then perform. Don't try to perform when the bill is due, if that kind of makes sense. Because you don't really have leverage at that point. They'll be like, man, you trying to do anything not to pay this bill. And it, it'll look like that. So you, uh, I just say just pay your bill, which gives you 30 days to go ahead and perform. So you kind of perform for the for the next month coming. So you can already be 15 day business days ahead. Well, really 30 days ahead of them. And by that time, you already have a federal claim already built up on them. 
that makes sense. Is there a difference between the class on the 19th and the beginning class? Huge difference. So I can accept my phone bill for value and send back with any laws behind it on their website. Nah, fam, you gotta get a class, fam. I just have to file in the federal court, yes. Is it possible to find remedy from the UK without the federal law? Is it, uh, you live in the UK, family? Because I know the UK got a uh, um, um, bill of exchange act. Hell yeah. Which video you got right now for this light bill? That's 1800 is going to help me, man. So, I mean, you got to kind of understand what's going on. But yeah, all my classes will help you. Um, I got advanced class. Uh, you just got to know how to endorse and enforce. Because just endorsing is, is so for y'all that's asking, like, what, so all I got to do is do this? Yeah, that's all you got to do. But what you going to do when they say no? You feel what I'm saying? You got to know how to build up the case. That's the last part. Can you endorse rent for something else if you're not on the lease? No. Unless you're going to write like their name if you're acting like them. Like, yeah. Maybe place your home in a trust. What is taught in the advanced course? Um, how to execute an endorsed bill. Have you ever used a notice of liability to enforce a breach of notice of liability? Um, well, I, I guess that just would be like us saying opportunity to cure. I guess that would be a form of our notice. What happens if they close your account after the first letter? I would go ahead and file an emergency federal claim. Or you can call them first, let them know, hey, this is, you know, you hope you know what laws is going on. You see what I'm saying? Because you can't just call them and say, y'all can't do this. Uh, you got to have some type of enforcement. Like, what, what acts are you bringing up to let them know, hey, y'all, this is racketeering. This is uh, this is uh, extortion. You're trying to make me do something some other way. But the thing is, you got to know how to enforce what's going on. All right? Because what was your plan? Let's say I didn't make any more videos, right? And you want, and I wasn't able to see this question right here. What was your plan? Like, meaning, as y'all can see, people that send stuff off the first time when they get their account shut down, they don't know what to do. So, again, for anybody, before they start, please study. All right. You have to study on app as well how to enforce. All right. So, meaning, I would type in Google, okay, what happens when my rights are violated? All right, they're going to literally tell you, bam, okay, if you're right, which rights, all right, your, your consumer rights, which, all right, if any right is violated, it needs to be brought forth to a court. Media claim must be made. What happens if they close? Get the advanced course, it's worth it. Just as me and Darius have proved it works, and I will soon follow on the car from Kia Motors. Appreciate that, family. I read case law, since can't label you in sovereign. Okay. That's life. We supposed to be doing business. Now, I endorsed my bill and sent it out. Next step, to, do I have to contact the company? No, nah, you don't got to contact the company. You can if you want to, but what you going to tell them? What you going to call them? What you going to tell them? Hey, y'all, I just sent y'all an endorsed bill. Don't do that. <laughs> Unless you will call and say, hey, I just sent my payment. How do you handle overdraft fees? What you mean? There are creations and not compared to a natural being. Any tips for giving instructions when dealing with a private person? Same as a same as a corporation, everybody would get the same instructions. We're dealing with accounts, so it's the same instructions. Denials are unlawful whether you deny it or approve. They securitize your application. Correct, correct. If the lease is not, not in my name, could I still get remedy? Man, you can't get. I mean, do you, do you have authority of that name? That's what it's about. Then we get into why credit cards a little harder to get remedy. And you'll be amazed. A lot of people be trying to start off with their credit cards. I'll tell you why the credit cards is more harder than anything. All right, because you got to really think about it. If you have a $20,000 line of credit 
and you and you endorse that, that's like an un, that's like unlimited money. If you really think about it, you see what I'm saying. So they're they're going to make sure this person overstands contract fully before they just give a person remedy just because they send some instructions. Because let's be real with everybody, most of everybody's instructions is some instructions that I told them to write. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of this stuff is really stuff that I told people to do. Now, granted, I tell people to react, but I say about I say about eighty percent of the people that buys my products, all right, they're not really. You feel me? They just trying. They just doing the step by step. So it's like the credit card companies knows this. So they'll weed a person out by shutting the card off, seeing that that person knows how to do an adverse action. You see what I'm saying? Because if I if they hurry up and get you as an, in, a, in an adverse action, man, you don't know how to build a case. They win. Actually, they win faster because they don't got to go to the court and get you get you evicted from the account. You see what I'm saying? So the credit cards is is it's harder because of that all right but my thing is when you get remedy with your credit card now that's an un that's an open-ended credit plan meaning if you got ten thousand swiping the whole ten thousand the next month come over endorsing the whole uh, endorsing the principal balance but that's why i think it's harder to get remedy with the credit card they get them credit cards ain't nothing to play with you can't come around that corner just you know what i'm saying like you gotta really know what's going on or be willing to really start building your court case on them because you probably gonna have to sue them for sure for sure but i got a brother that beat capital one for his credit card he might be on this live all how can you get a car out the tow yard without pants that's tough uh yeah it's tough because you kind of worry you kind of behind the eight ball all right you kind of behind because they don't they're not gonna listen to shit you send them you see what i'm saying they're gonna be like man fuck you sue us you see what i'm saying so you probably you probably gonna have to hurry up and file a federal claim uh for uh a false repo all right, but my thing is, I don't know how strong you are on the on the overstanding of everything. Uh, so it's not going to do you any justice just running to court and filing the claim if you can't, you know, um, explain what happened. Because just saying they can't repo, like you got to be able to build your case and be able to state your case. Can I get this done in six months? I don't know, family. I don't know how much you read. It's not really a timetable on this. How do we execute in the UK without federal laws? Y'all, y'all that's in the UK, I, I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't live in the UK. I, I I'm not sure. Um if the U if the UK has a bill of exchange, that bill of exchange must be backed by something. You know what I'm saying? That's where I would start there. Um, does y'all's constitution back the Bill of Exchange Act? Uh, that would be like my first question, but I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the UK's laws are all the way. What's the civil code you put on the federal client? I, I don't know, family. You got to go study, family. When is the last day to register for August 19th, uh, August 18th? Can I start getting ribbony with that? It depends on how much you read, family. I don't know your lifestyle. I don't know how much you care about this shit. I don't, I don't know. I filed my federal claim today in the Ghost Bay Instruments was one of the lawsuit reasons. Okay. Have you ever used it? I already read that. I'll take in the advanced course. How do I? Okay, I already answered that one. My lease states that any interest occurred on security deposits owes to the landlord. All right. Um, Hold on, you said Molly says any interest secured on security deposit is owed to the landlord. What state are you living in? Because I think there's a couple of states that be saying that. 
can I endorse a blank sheet of paper in Virginia as promised in for Yes, yes. But why, though? Just go get the buyer's order. What books do you recommend for this kind of process or laws? Uh, no books. Um, just the bill of exchange. I will go to the uh, SEC.gov, Security Exchange Commissioner. Uh, I will read the Constitution. Uh, yeah, says the KVI Act. Uh, I just also go look up some case laws. Like, literally, just go to Google, type in Truth and Lending Supreme Court. You know what I'm saying? Or, or repose Supreme Court ruling. All right, you'll, you'll find a lot of information. What's the process to discharge or more? Uh, Got to get the class. The advanced class, good for anything you're trying to get remedy for. Facts, facts. Is there still spots open for the August 19th? Yeah, I think we got like 50 more spots left. I think it's like 50. Um, if you go on there, it is some, it is available. It's available. Uh, have you ever used roses? Why these same questions keep coming up? What's the steps to send your bills off for them to pay it since it's they're already paid for? You got to get the class, family. You're not going to know what to do or love. Try to buy the class for eight thousand. How to get it for five? Uh, go to the first post on my page. It says how to enroll into a course, and you follow that prompt. What if you're getting a new lease? Would it still apply? Well, I will counter that question with a question: Why wouldn't it apply? Thank you for all your info. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I just got 2020 BMW, haven't even got the plates yet, waiting for a bill. All right, go ahead and get all your documents together while you wait for that bill. Endorse bill, I need more in-depth info for sure. Florida does not play. And I, I live in Florida. Florida is easy. What if they close your account after the first letter? I already went over that one. Did you say you can perform the bill for us even do yeah because i'm not anticipating for a bill i'm gonna go ahead and endorse the whole contract i'm gonna be like yo every month just transfer the principal balance over just so they already know they still gonna send a bill but they'll they it's like on oh, that's the real auto pay that's supposed to be on has anybody told you, you look like king george i don't know who that is What's the best class personally? I only got two classes, family. Beginners, and you got advanced. If you're a beginner, get a beginner. Then the advanced is going to make sense. Uh, I got an August 19th class coming next weekend. Next Saturday, we're going over rent. We're going over rent. So continue paying rent until you properly build up your case to get you at your house. Definitely. Or you're going to be out. Outside, you gonna have that letter on that door. You gonna be outside with them bags. Uh, yeah. Enforce and endorse. My boy Conway, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? A dismissal with prejudice can be appealed to the Supreme. Hell, motherfucking yeah. Hell yeah. What class? Class code is the federal claim. Well, family, you got to be able to build the federal claim. A lot of people ask me that. Like, how do I file a federal claim? Um, Anybody that has filed a federal claim, can you comment for? Comment for for me. For those that have filed a federal claim, comment for. Anybody filed a federal claim? Okay. Anybody else? Okay, okay. 
All right. Now, you remember the actual claim, like the claim, like the cover, the claim sheet? All right. Did they give you that sheet? Did they give it to you? Did they say, hey, here it is? Did they, did they do that? So, so nope, nope, nope. So, so they didn't give it to you. All right. Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. Because some play, they don't give you not not you know they don't give you that federal claim like they. I'm mean, not talking about a, a, a civil. Uh, you know what I'm saying? When you want to file a federal claim, like it's. Yeah, we yeah, we ain't doing no civil. This is criminal. All right. <laughs> this is criminal. All right. But you got to remember, a lot of time, uh, yeah, you got to create it, fam. That's why a lot of people are saying, like, how do, do you have a class? How to file a federal claim? I got a class having an overstand on what's going on, meaning the performance. I got a class that's showing you how to execute the performance. If those don't work, that is your case, family. And then I got to let you know that it's breach of contract. All right, literally, then you go go to Word documents, all right? Okay, literally, Word document and go create your own cover sheet. All right, who's the plaintiff? Who's the defendant? All right, what court are you sending this document to? What's the name of the court? Okay, okay. When you go down a little bit, what's the nature? What's the claim of the court? All right, give us a little bit of the facts. Give us a little history. What's, what happened? Who slapped you? All right, we need you to write a report. Who slapped you? Okay, you, they say you slapped you on this day. Okay, what do you want to happen for, for him slapping you? Oh, you want remedy? Okay, okay all right. And a lot of y'all going to get crazy with damage fees. Y'all fuck them damage fees. All right? You're not going to get those damage fees. Like y'all trying to make y'all be drawing up a hundred million dollar damage. Oh, I found uh two hundred violations, so that's two hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah, yeah, y'all. The court is not going to make them pay that. Okay, all they're going to the court is going to give them a chance to make whatever they have right. So before because for some of y'all that has never got in trouble before, the court always give you a chance to either pay the fee, it'll make it right, all right, or get locked up. Yeah. I don't know how to how the judge be, hey, do you got the fine to pay? Or you gonna have to go lay down. All right? And that fine to pay, meaning, yo, literally, y'all, all they gonna do is transfer the original credits that was yours and give them to you. That, that's it, family. And everybody go home for milk and cookies. Everybody go home for dinner. All right, why y'all trying to build up this big ass fucking civil damage? Shit, man, fuck that. Y'all are wasting y'all damn time. Okay, you're not getting no civil. You're not getting no that. You're not getting that. Okay, unless you got locked up for the wrong reasons. Yeah, but on the fucking bill, y'all, you're not getting your. Okay, I know people are trying to assess and process this OCC complaint. Okay, family. You're not getting that money, okay? You're, you're, yes, do the OCC complaint, but if they have, if they give you any hard times, y'all fuck that and just go to court and sue, okay? okay? The OCC is just for the damages anyway. I'm letting you know you're not getting that, okay? This is a federal. Complaints. This is a federal claim. Y'all, we're talking about breach of contract. This is not a civil matter. You know what I'm saying? This is criminal. Yeah, people be greedy, man. They be like, I'm just trying to build all my... I done came up to 175000 and they're going to pay me my money. I'm like, ah, no, they're not. Ah, no, they're not. All right? 
because the judge is going to say, hey, you got this amount to make this right, or you will have to pay this. And if I'm them, why the fuck would I not just give you your original remedy? All right? It's just, it's just, it's just, there's no need to be greedy in this family. Y'all trying to build up. Let me try to find violations so I can send them to TransUnions. They owe me $15,000. You're not. Okay. But I mean, you might get it. Fuck it. Let me, let me not. Let me not hold nobody down. You might get it. Whoop de fucking do. Okay. What'd you do? All right. All right. What'd you do? What about that bill being endorsed? All right. All right. Focus on the remedy. Focus on the remedy. All right, all you need to do is find one violation for it to be breach of contract. So you think I'm about to waste my time trying to find a billion violations? You think I'm about to go through my contract and find as many violations as I can so I can make a fit? Man, fuck no. I'm, I'm about to tell they ass, hey, look, I'm, 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 the, I'm here on behalf of the principal. I'm here to transfer the whole principal balance to the principal's account. Well, fuck a fucking... Fuck a violation. Look at me. I'm saying, fuck a fucking violation. <laughs> All I need is one. If they tell me I can't get my uh, equity or utilize my principal's balance, that's the only violation I need. Breach of fucking fiduciary duties. That's all I need. I don't need to find any other else. Okay, they charge me down payment. Okay, great. Breach of contract. I'm not about to sit here and be going through this whole motherfucker trying to find all the goddamn man. That's level one shit. We're not on level one no more. All right, we know how to we know how to go straight to it now. There's no need to keep be trying to build a whole bunch of violations. We don't gotta you know find all the damn drug spots and make it a solid. I gotta I gotta catch them ten times with the same drugs for me to prosecute. No, we find them with drugs one time. We gonna go get his ass. All right, and the drugs that they doing is the breach of contract. Y'all oh, got him. Oh, he said no once. He said no twice. So, God damn, we got him. <laughs> what? I mean, lovely when they be like, no. No, I think you're taking this out of context. No, no. I'm like, what? All right, put that in writing. Can you just tell me no in writing? I'm, I'm a man of writing. I'm a man of papers, okay? All right, I don't really hear that well over the phone. Can you send me this in writing? Can you tell me no in, oh, can you tell me no in writing, please? Okay? Straight up. Yeah. Hell yeah. Gotta know what's going on. All right. But yeah, y'all, August 19th, sign up for that class if you tired of paying rent. All right. Sign up for that class if you tired of paying rent. And I hope y'all calling y'all lease. Y'all remember the, y'all remember the, um, y'all remember the homework you had to do. Who are, who called their leasing office and asked them what they were supposed to ask? Who was on that last live we did? Uh, if you was on that last live we did and we had the questions of uh, comment eight, you know, you had to ask, call your landlord and ask them two questions. If you was on that call, comment eight. <laughs> you said they hug up in your face. <laughs> that should let you know what time it is. Uh oh. <laughs> you already know what time it is. They done said, bitch, the fuck? Fuck off my motherfucking line. Ask about your goddamn interest. You already know what time it is. I right, said, if the security is an interest bearing account or not interest bearing account yep those are the questions they, they said they didn't know what i was talking about oh damn i didn't mean to add you family oh man let me get you up out of here family i didn't mean to add you family go ahead put that x for them like i don't add on add somebody they even though i was on <laughs> my bad murphy my bad <laughs> Hey, 